G'day, it's Blue Boy here, and today we've got a review of this ninja stick. Well, actually, it's a Z Pax walking staff. So stay tuned to see what I think about it. Okay, let's get started with the review. The first thing is it's made out of carbon fiber and it's really chunky. It's like thicker than a regular trekking pole. It is 60 inches in height, it's quite tall. Um, it can be broken down, it's got three pieces, three or four pieces, and it can be broken down into a 48 inch trekking, uh, like a uh, walking pole, or sorry, 52 inch trekking uh, walking pole, or a 48 inch one. Um, so there's options in terms of its height. Now Joe Valesco, who is the designer, creator, and uh, seller of this, um, loves walking with a single pole, or a single um, staff, like Moses. And so I thought I'd try it last year, and I walked with it in Tasmania, in uh, the walls of Jerusalem. And um, yeah, I quite enjoyed um, using it. I'm not sure if I'm still a convert to it, but there are things that I like about it. Um, the first thing is that it is, you can grip it with two hands. So you're going up hills, you're going down hills. You can actually take a lot of your weight with it, which is good, which is one of the things he says about this. You can, on that vertical, straight up and down, you can pretty much take your whole weight on it. You can like pogo pole it sort of thing so that's pretty good um, it gives you a longer reach like when you're going down big rocks um, and that is an advantage of this it's like when you're rock hopping you go like this almost like you're spearing something so um, yeah so that's an advantage of it um, what else do I like about this I like um, I like how light it is it's only about 200 grams, maybe just slightly over 200 grams. Um, yeah. What are some of the things that I don't like about it? I don't like how that it's hard to break down. You've got to take this top off here. You've got a line lock three thing. Pull this like rubber off. Take this sort of thing here off. Uh, actually, one of the things I don't, I actually don't like is this, is this like grip um, here. Uh, this nylon grip actually because look I'll sort of really bugger it up here um, because it even though it when it's connected properly like that well the way it works actually normally is you pull that wire there's a little knot on it and then it sort of there's a little cut out there and then you pull the line lock cable on it right up to being tight let's see if we can do that yep so it pulls it right up to being tight you can't pull it too high you need to put this rubber back on the top so let's do that put that rubber back on the top and that's sort of a little bit doing like that yep there we go and then we'll pull that right up then when it's right tied up this nylon it's called sort of uh, i think it's called a sweat grip or a, a gripper to stop it because imagine if the carbon fiber is wet with sweat or water it is very it would be a very slippery even though it is a little bit um, sort of textured um, this this nylon grip it's not very grippy it goes it sort of has all this wobble in it some birds all this wobble on it so i've been accosted um, so i don't really like that it sort of doesn't doesn't engender confidence when you're sort of putting your weight on it or moving around so i think what i'll do in the future is wrap some um like some grippy tape around there that's just like going to stay there and not give me this wiggle woggle. So um, so there we go, I've uh, <laughs> taken the uh, sweat band off, which I really don't like as I uh, have expressed. So this sweat band I can, you can remove because it just uh, attaches to the cord that's on there with the line lock three and just sits in there, but it's really wobbly as I don't like it. So I think in the future I'll just use the, use the um, staff like naked like bare, but I'll probably wrap some grippy tape around it, like some duct tape or something. Um, but the way that the top works is, it's just got a little knot there, and if you pull that knot, and then there's a cap that you put on later, a little rubber cap, and you can pull that off, and then you can, there's a, this, this section here's also got a knot, so you can then lock that in there, put the cap on the top, and then that becomes, that becomes a, a 52 inch, like, walking stick, or um, pole, single pole, or, so the 60 inch was the full, full height, 52 inch is what you could have there, or you can just remove this one and put this one back on, the little mini one, 
Entonces. Está. Smash for Rapa. Let me put the little rubber back on the top. It is a little bit, a little bit of a pain in the backside. Put on. This is one of the things I don't like about it. It's not very fast to change things like this, or if you're needing to break the pole down to make a 48 inch pole like this, I'm not going to do this. No. But uh, that's a 48 inch pole, which is a, which is the height of many of z -Pax's, um tents, like the Z-Pax requires a 48 inch, the new Flexamid's 48 inch. Um, they're pretty much standardized their tents to do 48 inch. Um, the old um, Hexamid Solo Plus was a 52 inch, which was the, would have been that one. And then their old their previous um, Ultraflex, which was their big tall tent, required the 60 inch, so that's what this pole was for. Uh, but the Ultraflex is gone, the X Mid Solo Plus is now gone too, so um, you're just down to tents that require 48 inch pole, so that's that one. So if you're using this, um, this stuff, you would have basically either have it straight like that, or you would have it like this and use the full length, the full 60 inch length to walk with. And then at night you break it down to a 48 inch down like that. Okay, so we go up like that and then quickly the painful top one. There we go, that one works all right. So, there we go. Oh man, I'm a, like a pogo stick maestro. Just call me Ninja Blue Boy. Right. So just in summary, I like how light it is. I like how strong it is. I like how long it is. Um, what don't I like about it? I, like, I don't like the sweat band, it's too wobbly. Um, I don't like how hard, difficult it is to like change the, the length of it. Uh, although I'm sure you'll get faster at it if you used it all, like, all the time. Um, and I'm not sure if I only like using one pole. Um, yeah, I like my Montbell lightweight, ultralight folding poles because they're so quickly to, to deploy and so quickly to stow as well. This one, if you want to put it in your pack and you don't just do all this mucking around and put it in your side pocket, that's the, what's the downside. It doesn't really like stack up very quickly. So um, it is strong. You can pole vault like rivers, like the video that Joe showed <laughs> on the on ZPAC's website. Um, so yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a walking tool that I'll continue to use from time to time. Um, I am even thinking of getting a Hyperlite mounting gear, um, like that TP tent that's like like for two people, um, and it requires a 64 inch. So I wanted to try and get an extra long bit here so I could use that. But ZPAC don't sell it separately. But I think Rocker Locker Loka somebody um, who I think ZPAC may um, um, contract to make this. I think you can buy a spare pole bit. So. I'd replace that 48 inch, that little bit, with another 52 inch bit or something like that to make it up to 64 inch. Now I could have like this as my trekking pole or my walking staff, and also as my main pole for uh, that tent from the Hyperlite Mountain Gear, which I'm thinking right now. Anyway, that's my review of the Z-Pax walking staff. Hope you like it. Check me out real soon.